not only is the minister in the Senate whose ministry is going to be investigated, the Honorable Senator's name has been mentioned in the reports. Beyond that, Madam President, we have the situation where the motion that is about to be debated contemplates the calling as witnesses, as persons who have been named in that report. So we have a specter of a senator sitting in the Senate participating in a motion that seeks to investigate his ministry. The motion being put forward by the Honorable Senator at this time does not comply with the standing orders in terms of giving us notice. And so while we are being asked to vote on, on a matter, that did not come before us within the time. And that is why I rose on that point of order. But he was allowed to, to continue. Mm -hmm. um, section 24 is clear. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why we should be amending the orders of the day to incorporate a motion that was not given the proper notice. That's, mm -hmm. that's my thinking. I think. Madam President, my friend Senator Duncan should read not only 24, but read 25. Not only read it, but listen specifically to what I said. I said this Senate has an obligation to protect its privileges. And if you read 25, it says, Unless the standing orders otherwise provide, notice shall be given of any motion which is proposed to make, with the exception of the following. And if you go to K, a motion relating to a matter of privilege, there is no requirement, Madam President, if I am raising a motion relating to the privilege of this Senate for me to give notice. And I ask that the motion be seconded by a senator and that the question be put.